everyone, Miss Patty here, and welcome back to the Pomo School Library. As you can see, it's St. Patrick's Day. Uh, probably by the time this video airs, it'll be afterwards, but I just wanted you to know that uh, I'm celebrating, and I hope you guys had a great St. Patrick's Day. Today in uh, Miss Patty's Picks, we're going to read our second story on friendship, and this one is Madeline Finn and the Library Dog. I really think you're going to enjoy it. Um, the reason I chose this story is because sometimes when we're learning something new, it can be a little scary, and sometimes you make mistakes and that makes people feel like, well, if I'm going to make a mistake and somebody might tease me, then maybe I just don't want to do it at all. And that's kind of how Madeline Finn felt. So let's hear this story on how she um, became friends with this guy here. Madeline Finn and the Library Dog by Lisa Pep. Let's get in here to the title page. She doesn't look real happy, does she? I do not like to read. Not books, not magazines, not even the menu on the ice cream truck. And I especially do not like to read out loud. Keep trying, Madeline Finn, my teacher says. But sometimes I can't figure out the words. Sometimes the sentences get stuck in my mouth like peanut butter. And sometimes people giggle when I make a mistake. And I never get a star sticker from my teacher. Not even a smiley face. Instead, I get a heart that says, keep trying. I get a lot of keep trying stickers, but I want a star. Stars are for good readers. Stars are for understanding words and for saying them out loud. But I know what else they're for. Stars are for making wishes. So I make a wish for my very own star. I guess wishes take a while because I don't get my star on Monday or Tuesday. Keep trying, my teacher tells me on Wednesday. On Thursday, I say the frog's name wrong. It's Samuel. I try to get away with Sam, but it doesn't work. And Friday's no better. On Saturday, Mom takes me to the library. Hello, Madeline Finn, Mrs. Dimple says. She's our librarian. I don't like to read, I remind her in case she forgot. Oh, I remember. But today, we have something special, something you might enjoy. Madeline Finn, would you like to read to a dog? Mrs. Dimple leads me over to a big white dog. This is Bonnie. Why don't you pick out a book and read to her? She's a great listener. Bonnie is beautiful, like a big snowy polar bear. Would you like to try, Mom asks? Yes, please, I say, but not very loudly. At first, I'm nervous. I get the letters mixed up. The words don't sound right. But then I look at Bonnie. She looks right into my eyes, and she doesn't giggle. I feel better. I try again. Halfway through, I get stuck on another word. Bonnie doesn't mind. She puts her big paws in my lap and lets me pet her until I figure it out. After that, Bonnie and I read together every Saturday. It's fun to read when you're not afraid of making mistakes. 
Bonnie teaches me that it's okay to go slow and to keep trying, just like the sticker says. I still don't have a star, but I can be patient, like Bonnie. Soon it's almost time to read in class again, but when I go to the library, Bonnie's not there. And neither is Mrs. Dimple. Would you like to wait for another dog? The other librarian asks. No, thank you, I say as politely as I can. Don't worry, Mom tells me later. Bonnie was just busy today. But what about school? I ask. Oh, you'll do fine, she says. Just pretend you're reading to Bonnie. On Monday morning, I'm very nervous. Madeline Finn, would you like to read next? The teacher asks. Yes, please, I say, but still not very loud. The first sentence goes pretty well. Then I get messed up on a word, and then another, and I hear someone giggle. But then I think about Bonnie. I take a deep breath and pretend she's right next to me. Next thing I know, I'm at the bottom of the page. I look at my teacher, and she has a big smile on her face. I did it. I got my star. On Saturday, we go to the library again. Mrs. Dimple is back. I got my star, I tell her. I want to give it to Bonnie. Well done, Madeline Finn, she says. I think Bonnie might have a surprise for you, too. Madeline Finn, would you like to read to Bonnie and her puppies? So that's where she went. <laughs> yes, please, I say nice and loud. So that was Madeline Finn and the library dog. Have a great day, you guys.